Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we will look at how you can convert text on your spreadsheet into uppercase in Excel 2013. Now the way we are going to do this is we are going to use the flash fill feature that came out with Excel 2013 which greater simplifies this task ahead of us now to convert to uppercase. Now this technique is all part of the Excel 2013 superhero course uh, which you can find via a link in the description of this video if you want to find uh, further training and further techniques in Excel 2013. Uh, for now though, let's get on with the task in hand. And I'm going to click in cell B5 here. Now there's nothing greatly significant about B5 apart from the fact that it is one of the incorrect cells, if you will. So the first two are already in good condition, as are the last two, but these three are a bit of a mess. Now I'm clicking in one of the cells next to one that is a bit of a mess. And I'm then going to type in an, a correct version of that customer code as it is in this example and then press enter or, or, or shift and enter to move to the cell above as opposed to down uh, to put that in. Now at this point, now I have one correct entry in this column, I can click on the data tab and go for this flash fill feature which tells me it will look for a pattern in the adjacent column. Well, it doesn't have to be the adjacent column, but in, in the column that it can see the values used. And it will try and recognize that pattern and replicate it for the other records or the other rows. Also goes on to say that the keyboard shortcut is Control E, E for echo there. So let's see this in action. If I click on flash fill, how amazing is that? It will automatically correct yeah, or convert all the other codes into uppercase. Because you can see what I did to you know the one of the affected cells, and it just replicated that for the others, for the whole column. So seven codes here, but it could have been more. Now if I just maybe clear those out and I'll just demonstrate it in a different one. If I go for this one here, the R F G H pressing enter there and if I do control E remember that was the keyboard shortcut control E and you notice I didn't click any mouse buttons there it was just a shortcut and the same magic has occurred but much faster you get this little tag where you can undo these suggestions if you feel they are incorrect okay now one last thing to finish on this video let's you know Logically, you would probably start with the first cell, and I avoided it in this case because it was already correct. T H Y X S is already fine. So if I do that and do Control E, it doesn't realise what I'm trying to do because I haven't had to change it. So it just thinks, oh, well, you're doing the same thing, aren't you? And does the same thing to the others. That is why I target B5. Or could have quite easily targeted B4 or B6 also because they are uh, in the wrong format already. But that's why I avoided that initial cell out of interest. And you may have to see that on your your stuff, depending on what you're using Flash Fill for. You may have to ensure you click next to or in the same row of or one of the badly affected ones, one of those you actually want to change, and then you can flash fill it. Or indeed, as one last thing I should mention, you can also, if I just clear this stuff out, run flash fill through the fill handle. See if I click on a cell and drag this up to do a normal filling, a normal copying, and go to the little smart tag that arises, flash fill is in there too. So I can convert a standard fill technique to a flash fill. And I should be able to do this for the cells below. So it's a little bit more time spent here, which is why I did not do it this way. But depending on the structure of your data list, you may have to. 
or depending on what, what you prefer to do and what the way you prefer to work. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you find that tutorial useful. That is Flash Feel in Excel 2013, converting text to uppercase. As mentioned earlier, there is a link in the description of this video to sign up for the Excel 2013 superhero course where you can find even more superhero techniques. Otherwise, check us out at computergargo.com or some of these other videos we have free on YouTube.